Hi everyone, welcome on in and welcome back to all of our subscribers and members. My name is Sean Games. I'm your favorite queer disabled content creator from Connecticut and today we're continuing our journey with Ezio in Assassin's Creed 2. We are on sequence 10 and approaching the end of the game. I'm about to get Altair's armor. I have two Assassin's Tombs left. We'll do one of them today and we'll do one of them in our next episode. After today's collection montage, we have about five or six glyphs left and one codex page. So I'm really excited to see if we're finally going to be able to get that last codex page today or how long I need to wait for that. I'm really interested in finding out all of those final moments of the game. What is going to happen with Ezio and what story is going to be untold that forces us to have another game with Ezio. I'm really interested to see how this game ends. We're getting very close to the end here. Starting off today, I have our collection montage. We're then going to be doing an Assassin's Tomb and then right back into sequence 10 and the story. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Codex page number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, and last but not least, codex page number seven. Okay, let's see what this all is. I'm missing one page. Oh my lord, I'm missing one page. I can't believe I'm missing one page. It is, it's a map of the world. Oh, I love that this glyph is a pentagram. Like, this is great. It's an interesting spot too. I wasn't expecting to find it. I am become death. I am become worlds. Trinity archive. What is this? Okay. Okay. We're, we're going to figure this one out much easier than the last time. So nine is a triangle. So we know that. Okay. And we have a pattern forming that we have to figure out what the pattern is. Because last time, that was messy. So I believe that nine is just a triangle. I believe that two is a circle, because that's next in the succession. And then I believe five would be this. Whoo! First try, only try. Let me tell you that last time when it took us a super long time to be able to do it, I'm learning. Subject, test authorization. There comes a time in a life of every experiment when we must test our results outside in the world. I do not relish a successful outcome. But one is essential if we're to begin the foundations of a new world order. Global security and prosperity depend on a steady hand guiding the populace. A hand that will not falter under the weight of a consciousness. Give O the authorization. I believe that history will vindicate us in the end. Hello? Which bombing is this? Is this a nuclear bomb? We're looking for something in the... In the aftermath? It's getting louder. Where? Okay. What am I looking for? Ah. Seven one six four five. Was this the the password? Okay, and then what's this file? Them running naked towards the wall again. I've seen this clip already. We have it literally like right over here. Huh. I wonder what truth we're actually learning. Because I don't really see truth being learned. So we have something written in what looks to be Hebrew? What is this about? I don't about? know what's happening to me. I have been in the machine. The machine. Keep putting me back in and I am losing control. It's all blurring together. Okay, so this is definitely Subject 16 who they're talking about here. I'm holding a rifle. Gettysburg. That's a future game. I just stabbed a man, and there is blood on my waistcoat. That that is a future game. If I Gettysburg, that Assassin's Creed Three. I know it's a future game. 
I'm in bed with her. She cries as I fuck her. I'm speaking okay. at the forum. No one listens. I'm in the forest hunting. Oh, the moon. Whose life is he reliving? I'm here. I what? have to stay here until you understand. Listen, why do we have these gifts, these abilities? Because it's in our blood. Okay, the blood makes sense because he put the blood on the wall. Wait, were the blood was the blood on the wall just glyphs? Oh lordy, not this again. The seeds were planted as the two worlds became one. Behold the assassins, children of the two worlds. As two became one. The seeds were planted. As two became one. The seeds were planted as two worlds became one. Behold the assassins, the children of the two worlds. So I'm going to say we're doing pictures with children in them. So, like, maybe this. Maybe this. Maybe this. I don't see chill. Maybe this. Okay, no. Uh, this is going to be really hard. Okay, the seeds were planted as the two worlds became one. Behold the assassins, the children of the two worlds. So am I looking for heaven and hell? Is that what I'm looking for? Cupid. I'm going to say this. Say this. Say this. And I had to pick one more. This? No. This? No. Yeah, I don't know what they're asking me to look for. The seeds were planted as the two worlds became one. Behold the assassins, the children of the two worlds. So I'm assuming I'm looking for either the children of two worlds. So maybe there's something where these things have two. Visited by Zeus, Dante, Zeus, two, three. Venus of that, maybe that one. Jupiter and, 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 and. Okay, so she's potentially the incorrect one. Hold on. Okay. This one has the word and in it. This one has the word and in it. This has the word and in it. This has the word and in it. This has two names in it? No. I don't know. Advice. Okay, let's listen to his advice. Hmm. That can't be. Well, maybe... There is a myth. There was a myth I once heard, right? Some nonsense about the mating of gods and mortals. Mating of the gods and mortals. Okay. Gods and mortals. God and mortal. God and mortal. God and mortal. Maybe the swan is the wrong one. Yeah, I don't know. Something about gods and mortals. Okay. This one. I don't know if she's pregnant in this. Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. That can't be. Well, maybe. There was a myth I once heard, right? Some nonsense about the mating of gods and mortals. 
why is this so difficult? Mating of gods and mortals. Zeus, a god. There's no god mentioned. God mentioned. God mentioned. Definitely not her. God mentioned. Okay, maybe it's this one? God, I have no clue. Okay, the baby's here. There's three people in this. Three people in this. Three people in this and this one. I have no clue. Why are these so hard? <laughs> Zeus. Zeus is a god. Jupiter is a god. I don't know if the swan is a god. Cupid is a god. Leaner? Okay, that's wrong. Okay, so maybe instead of this one, it's this one? I, that didn't make sense. I know it was supposed to be like the gods, but like I thought that one had a god in it. Passcode already? That was so difficult. Because six of them had gods in them. What? Guardians, unlock the file. Oh, these again. I don't actually mind these puzzles too much. It's when they select multiple rows at the same time is when my brain doesn't really like them. Okay, this one's easy enough though. Okay, now we just fix the center. And then we fix the outside. Ugh. They really decided to make this a mess. The death of all tyrants will set the people free. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. They considered all those people to be tyrants? That one was really easy. And they're continuing to still run naked. Let's get started. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this puzzle is. Oh, this is really cool. Another catacomb that we have. Oh, this looks really cool. I'm interested to see what's in store with this. So for those of you who it's your first time in for one of these Assassin's Tombs, what I normally do is I will begin by talking about what we talk, what we spoke about last time, and then I'll jump into. There is something moving over there in that haystack. Sit back down. Oh. We're in the middle of playing a tarot no, game. No, no, this time I saw something. I know it. That's what you say every time. There's nothing there. <laughs> it's a rat. <laughs> you were right. Oh, I like there this guy. something in the haystack, you feminucha. I'm Oh, I like this that. Funny. I could have been killed by that. You don't think. Why? Okay, that's where that I couldn't assassinate from the bush. Did I not? Did I wait too long? Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. I would like to use my throwing knives, please. Okay, can I not use my throwing knives? Okay, cool. I don't... Thro okay, I can't use my throwing knives. Run faster! Okay, I... Okay, I needed a second to get my life together. 
But okay. Apparently we are just chasing after him right away. Awesome. Okay, so as I was gonna try and talk about, I was gonna try and talk about what we did previously and previously to these assassins tombs we spoke about my experience being a queer educator we spoke Leave about my time in undergrad in the fraternity and today i was hoping to talk a little bit more about my time in college my time in grad school okay Ezio. How am I getting over there now? I don't love this. Okay, this music is... Where am I going? Is he stuck somewhere? Or am I stuck somewhere? I'm stuck somewhere. Okay, this music is very loud. Um, I was planning on talking a little bit more about my college experience, but, okay, so apparently I am going up. Can I jump? No. Okay, how am I getting up there then? Okay, game. Let's do this. No. No. Game, what the heck am I supposed to do? It's trying to get me to go up there. There we go. I was like, why is it not letting me climb this? Very odd. Okay, so what else? Ezio! Climbing random things, Ezio. Not what I wanted to see. Is you climbing? Oh my lord. Yeah, if this Templar was really running after, that's why I wasn't able to use my throwing knives. Was because... This Templar was someone we... Okay. What? I'm being chased. Okay. How am I opening the door now? Just with my hands? Not with my hands. Okay. I was hoping to talk about stuff today, but it looks like we're speeding through this today. How the heck are we going to get in there? So it looks like there's something to climb on over here. What other things do we have? Looks like there's an entryway door up there. Let's circle back a little bit. It's one of my like favorite business terms to stay. I'm not sure if anyone works in um, any type of companies who use that kind of language, but I have worked in companies that do. I love a good... Oh, let's circle back on that. Okay. So that's the entrance over there that we're trying to get to. Can I climb any of these walls? No. Can I climb this? Oh, I hear something. Is there something... Mm, no. Okay, can I climb this statue? Nope, we can't climb the statue. What about the other statue? No. What about this door here? Ah! There we go. Okay, and back. Beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna jump no okay thought we were supposed to jump to that thing 
but it doesn't look like that's the case. So let's jump back. Okay, Ezio, that's not the jump that we wanted to do. I was hoping to do a different jump. Okay, so we're going to jump, grab, here. And Ezio, let's, why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep doing that? Jump, grab, good. Okay, and then back. Okay, good. And now where do I go from here? I want to grab that. But it doesn't look like I can grab that. Can I grab this? No. Hmm. Okay. So what my plan was to talk about today is to talk about kind of my college experience. So I went to undergrad at Southern Connecticut State University in New Haven, Connecticut. And when I was in undergrad, as I talked about last time, I was a active fraternity member. Okay, there's nothing for me to grab there. And with that experience, when I went into grad school, it was really interesting. I always wanted to go to school in Boston, but I never got the opportunity to go to school in Boston. And my I couldn't afford college. College was something that I was very lucky enough to have both my parents work for Southern, uh, which allowed me to go at a discounted rate. Otherwise, I would have never been able to attend college. And oh. so when I went to grad school, I finally chose a college that I wanted to go to because I always wanted to go to a school in Boston. Boston was kind of always my end goal. And here, where are we supposed to be going? It looks like there's something I'm missing. So I went, so I finally got the opportunity to go to Do I do this? And turn? Ah, I think I figured it out. Okay. I was able to... do a jump there. Why is he no longer able to do that? Ezio, what is going on? Okay. And then let's try this again. So it looks like there's a... Oh, okay. You're... So you're not supposed to land there? Hmm. So I finally got the opportunity to go to school in Boston. And it was kind of everything I wanted it to be, because growing up in Connecticut, I didn't really have the opportunity to be around many queer people. Even though I did all of that queer like activities and I was involved in things that were related to queerness, I really didn't have like diversity of queer people around me. So for a lot of my life, I kind of only knew the same queer people. So moving and living in Boston really gave me a different perspective of what it's like to be queer. And I really enjoyed that aspect. Okay, so that's not what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. I really enjoyed that aspect of living in Boston. And that was for me was like probably one one of the better parts about living in the city was just having such a big group of people to kind of be around and always having an activity to do, always having something to do. And Boston just kind of felt like, kind of felt like home to me, felt really safe. And I, I was lucky, I'm lucky enough to have that privilege of feeling safe when being in Boston. So I did really enjoy my time there. 
Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go here. I am a little stuck. So I go here. And then there's a doorway over there. And there's no entryway to that doorway. Let's back travel a little bit. Maybe there's a different path I can take that I'm not looking at. Is there a wall that I can climb or something? No. Okay, so we're here. We're here, we get to this room. We were chasing him. We are chasing him, we get here. Here we have what used to be something that we could have jam jumped on to glide our little booties over. And then I would think that I would be able to hold on to that big piece up there and walk around. I don't know why I can't do that. Is it potentially really this simple? <gasps> Not me fucking overthinking it. Ezio, what was that? You were supposed to jump and assassinate them. Okay, let's just make this... Easy peasy. Okay. I... I made that more difficult than it needed to be. I can't believe that I... Sean Games made that more difficult than it needed to be. God! Really? 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 That's all I had to do was just jump against that one wall? Is all I had to do? God. So all I can say is that if you're looking to, there's a, a lot of conversations I would love to have about Boston and about moving there and about it like being expensive to be safe, which is like a really weird phenomenon to kind of like think about is that, oh, there's more puzzle. We do have time to talk about it. Beautiful. So there's this weird phenomenon that I think is really interesting. That living in a major city is really expensive. And when you live in that major city, you have the opportunity to feel safe. And people who don't have money don't have the ability to live in those major cities, which don't always give them the opportunity to feel safe. So I think it's really fascinating that this is timed, isn't it? Yep. Oh, you bet your stars it's timed. Why can't I? Oh. Can I swing? Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to solve the puzzle? And each of those bars solves the puzzle? Ezio. Oh, this is weird. Oh, okay. So it's really interesting to think about, like, the, the privilege of having money and being able to and then also have, like, the privilege of feeling safe. So there is... Oh, Ezio, why don't you jump to the left when you do that? Why do you jump always straight into the water? So I find it interesting. So, like, I've always wanted to... feel safe. I don't know how I'm supposed to... This advanced wall jump that they just like, Hey, by the way, there's an advanced wall jump technique you need to do. 
Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna be here for a little bit. I already have the the, the thought process that I'm gonna be here for a little bit. Okay, let's try this again. So this design, I think I need to move it multiple times. That's what it feels like. And let's see if that's the case. So I find it fascinating. Ezio, God, fuck you, bud. Fuck you jumping in the water constantly. I wish you would kind of just like free run the way I want you to free run. And not like need me to pause. Ezio, you are going to give me the biggest ounce of Ajita today, is what you are going to do, bud. Because this... Okay, we're going here. And... Swing. Okay, nope, not where I want you to go. want you to go here, but that's not what I want you to do. How am I? Oh, okay. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Uh, Ezio, Ez Ezio, why? I find it really difficult to, like, do this for some reason. But, as I was saying, okay, this is fine. I'd like to figure out how the fuck you want me to jump here. Okay, so there's no special jump that you have me doing. Am I climbing up this water wall? No. How the heck am I getting up there? Okay, so I do have to do the special jump. But I have to figure out how to do the special jump. Okay. Where is that entrance? Oh, I'm on the wrong side of it. So now I have to restart the entire puzzle again. Weird. So there is this privilege of, like, being able to live in an area where people can feel safe. And that's like one of the big conversations that happens a lot that people want to be able to feel safe everywhere and not just feel safe when they are in, in their home. Like, and by home, I mean in their in their home as in like their home state. People want to feel safe everywhere. And there that's the Can I Ezio, why There we go. Cool. Um and that's the big conversation a lot of times when people talk about well like well, like, people are safe. People have safe... Queer people have safe spaces to go to and have safe areas. And it's like, yeah, people who have money have safe places to go to. But for the majority of the queer population who doesn't have money, they don't have the opportunity to be in a, be in a space that is affordable to live, but then also safe for them. So, I had the opportunity to live in Boston, which really gave me this new, I guess, perception of, like, money and how expensive it is to, like, feel safe in your identity, and that was never something that, like, I even really thought about, because, like, growing up in, growing up in being white, that's not something that I have to think about. 
on a day-to-day -day basis. That's the privilege that I have is not having to have to think about that. So for me, it was really interesting to kind of be in Boston and have this new lived experience where I'm learning about where I'm learning about that. So I lived in Boston. I lived in Boston for um, three years and I had the time of my life. I loved every aspect of it and I would love to move back to the city. I was in some of the like best but also worst health of my life. Like I began my mental health journey of like really beginning to work on my mental health when I lived in Boston. God, fuck you, SEO. Uh, I began my like journey of like finally working on my mental health and finally like feeling safe to be able to do that. Um, being away from like family and life and just like judgment of my hometown. I finally feel that I had the opportunity to like start working on it. So I really did begin to start working on it. And ever since I've been able to work on it, which has been something that has been really helpful to me and has gotten me to a point where I'm able to talk about it. Fuck you, Ezio. We're doing so good, Ezio. Or I'm able to talk about it, and I'm able to talk about it online, and I'm able to talk about the struggles of, like, finding a therapist who really does vibe with you, but then also finding one who you can afford, because that was a weird situation, too, for me. Well, I'm not going to make it. I might make it, though. Come on, Ezio. Oh, thank the Lord we made it. Ezio! Good. Oh. So that's like the same time. Is like, I had the opportunity to finally find a mental health counselor who worked for me and helped me out. And I'm able to get to the point where I am today where I'm able to talk about my mental health pretty publicly and able to talk about the struggles that, that I've been gone through and that I'm still going through and being able to do that took years and took the the money to be able to live in a city where I felt safe enough to do that so it is really something to think about if you are someone who's really struggling in your life to make more spaces where people can feel safe um, that's what a lot of queer people who live in the South, let's say, for example, or live in countries where hate rules, they, they, that's their goal. Their goal is to create these spaces that are safe for queer people as much as they possibly can in areas that are predominantly not queer. We're like, Boston is super queer. New York, super queer. LA, San Francisco, um... Seattle, all super queer places where queer people live and it's easy for a queer person to find other queer people in their area. But like Connecticut, not so much. They exist. These spaces kind of exist, but they didn't exist for a really long time. They didn't exist like frequently enough for 2012. Also, a lot of these spaces are centered around sex and centered on alcoholism. So for someone who is either an alcoholic, a recovering alcoholic, someone who doesn't want to be around alcohol, someone who doesn't want to be around the party, the party scene, there's really not a space for a lot of those people. So like me, someone who's sober, there's not queer spaces that are sober a lot of times. So having to find those places, a lot of times you have to create those spaces. So I was lucky enough when I'm living in Boston that they had those spaces already. So think about that. And that's my thought. That's my life. That's the things I want to talk about today. And kind of thinking about where you're at in life and what you can do to make more spaces more accessible to more people. When we talk about accessibility. Accessibility isn't just the physical someone with a disability showing up. It's sometimes being accessible to more than that being accessible to people who are looking for these sober spaces and looking for things of that nature. 
So it's something to think about. So something that I like about having these times to talk and having these times to kind of go into detail about different aspects of life is that I can talk about stuff like that where you may not think about that because you live in a situation to where that's not something at your forefront of your brain. So kind of having you relive some of my lived experience through the times we talk, and I have a million and a half stories that I can talk about. So don't don't think that this is the last time we'll have a story about me in Boston, and don't think that this is the last time we'll have a story about an experience in Boston and talking about accessibility and talking about my life and talking about things that I got myself involved in, talking about the things that I shouldn't have gotten myself involved in when I lived in Boston. We're gonna talk about that as well, because there are some things that I got myself involved in that, let's just say, decisions were made. Decisions were made. They were very made, <laughs> and they shouldn't have been made. Look at this beauty. Oh, oh, that hurt. Dollar-wise, that hurt. Oh my lord, dollar-wise, that well hurt. Satisfied. I know it. Ooh, that is really pretty. I am so excited to use that. There you are, Come, Ezio. Wait. I'd like to introduce you to an uh, associate. Who is this? This is Agostino Barbarico, soon to be Doge of Venezia. Oh, that's good. So having someone on our side. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. It's smart. Come, it's not getting involved in dirty dealings. We've located Silvio Barbarigo for mm. He's fled into L'Arsenale. <laughs> fled? The north? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenaries. 200? No oh my god, we're not going to be able to fight through all of those. you command them to stand down? No. Not with that kind of money that they have. yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt mm. of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Oh. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He okay. resides within the military district, southwest of L'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. So we're gonna go... Let's see this. This is... Okay. Oh my god, it gives us his life and death story. So, 1486 is what year it is right now. So is he gonna continue on into the next game? That means that means that he's gonna be on, he's gonna be here for a while. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is the guy that I wanted. Silvio Barbarigo. Mm -hmm. Raised by wealthy merchants, Silvio was introduced to politics when his father was cut out of the family inheritance. <gasps> oh, From I then hate on, that. Silvio worked for his uncle, his father's killer. Apparently, he had a knack for persuasion. Quickly, he became his uncle's advisor, proving his worth he kill his by uncle? discovering a Saranzo plot against the Barbarigos. You're gonna love this. Before the plot could be carried out, Silvio throws an Easter celebration, inviting okay. the Saranzos. There's a pageant for the children in the central courtyard, while Silvio escorts the parents to the roof. He toasts the family, he... then signals the archers hidden behind the courtyard <gasps> windows. The Saranzos never plotted against the Barbarigos again. Fast forward ten years, and Silvio's living in his uncle's luxurious Venetian palazzo. And then he kills According his uncle. To the history books, his uncle died in bed. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. He's dirty. But also, I don't love the fact that his dad died. That his dad was killed... But then by his uncle. See, a lot of that, like, family killing family thing, I don't personally understand too much. I don't understand the, like, the knack for killing your family. Like, I understand not liking your family. There are family members of mine who I don't love. Okay? And by love, I mean, like, I don't enjoy their company a whole lot. But they're, I don't want to kill them. I don't want them... Like, I don't wish ill will on them. I just don't want to be around them. 
So, like, I don't really understand that aspect of it so much. Of, like... Like, I guess, like, money, power... And, like, that... Can I miss? Ezio. You're not supposed to miss, bud. <laughs> Get down, order. Oh my god. Shush. Oh, into the water we go. Boop. Okay, and we're making our way downtown. Walking fast. Swimming. And we're swimming. Swimming. As I was saying, I don't really understand the hate enough to kill a family member. I guess, like, money, power is always the answer of why family members die in this time period. I personally don't plan to ever kill a family member of mine, but that's not on my life to-do list. <laughs> At all. I don't think that's on most people's life to-do list. I don't have any, um, like, ill will against, against people. Like, that's not, like, I don't have a, I kind of let people live their life. Whatever people do in their life, they do in their life. As long as it doesn't affect my life, I don't care what people do. That's kind of how I've Grazie, always lived life. It makes things kind of easier that way. You let people live their life for whatever they want to do in their life. And as long as they let me do the same, we're good. We're good. So that's the part about the, like, assassinating um, a family member. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But it made sense in this time period. Money, power, fame, fortune, the riches make a whole lot of sense you get a whole lot of money that way you get an easier life that way it's like i get it it makes sense i just don't noble love it okay it looks like we're going Please. up help help what's going on bud hello Please. Help. what's going on you must be one of Bartolomeo's men. What's happened here? Where uh -huh. is he? Uh-huh. So we're supposed to meet him. Silvio Stocks. Mm. Took him deeper into the district. Mm. <laughs> North of here. Is that an arrow in his crotch? Arrow in his stomach. Oh. Requiescat in pace. Oh. I hate that. Okay. So it looks like we need to go get him from being captured. What this looks like. So let's try and find him from above. So I think from above is gonna be the easiest way for us to look. Ooh, feather. Not really super worthwhile, the feathers. Okay, so it looks like he's right here underneath us. Can I assassinate from up here? Yes! Did that work? Oh, I think I assassinated the wrong people. Okay, maybe it didn't work. Oh my god, his sword is so strong. Oh my god, the sword is so strong. I am so glad we have Altair's sword. Oh my lord, that's so strong. Okay, but he's in a jail cell somewhere. And it's not this building. Okay, we got people here. Can I assassinate them? No, I can't assassinate them. Oh my god, big boy. You know what? Smart idea. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go... Smoke bomb? 
Can I smoke bomb? Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh my god, stop! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my god. Smoke bomb. Please. No, I want to smoke bomb. Can I smoke bomb? Finally. Jesus fucking Christ, finally. Y'all. That's what y'all get for that bullshit. Okay, so he's in the cage somewhere here now? God, that was awful. Is he up above in the cage? Probably. God. I was just like ransacked in the corner there. I, that's not my type of gangbang. Come on now. Not interested in that, that's for certain. <sighs> the reason I can't find him is because there are two areas where he could have been located. I checked one of them. I didn't realize that there were two areas where he could have been. Okay. Now. Where? Okay, and then. Gonna go like that. And finally! God! I hate that he was. Oh! Maybe both, just to be safe. That's I mean, right. I'd be okay with the spanking and a kissing. I wouldn't be, to wouldn't be mad about that. <laughs> Let's see oh. who winds up rescuing who. What do you mean? Oh, he is very muscular. He is. <laughs> Why can't I? Okay, I hate that I can't counter. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get out of here, buddy. Yeah, this guy is strong. Get out of here, buddy. You. God. Okay. Okay, cool. We should go. Boom. Agree. There are Where are we going? Heads to be smashed. Perhaps we should try and avoid conflict. Why? Are you afraid? No. Just practical. We could just get away. Most of Silvio's men are used to We're good. We could just keep running. Excuse me? How do you... How are y'all countering those? Okay, enough of this. Enough. Thank you. One down. Two down. Get out of here, buddy. Done. Enough of that. And then let's loot the dead. Smoke bomb? Come on, give me smoke bomb. Smoke bomb, smoke bomb. There we go. Two smoke bombs. Beautiful. Okay. Now our time to continue to sprint back. Oh. So I cleaned up the first area. Which was supposed to be the second area we cleaned up. 
Oh, I went to the wrong area first. Stand down. What good is a man's life if it's not lived free? God, I I'll not go back into a cage. Oops. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill oh. them. Okay, buddy. I don't think that's gonna happen. One dead. And can I? Why am I not locked onto this guy? Okay, there we go. Open the gate to the headquarters. See, I don't understand. I find it very funny that I went to the wrong area first. Well, there's no guards here because I've killed all of them already. <laughs> I've killed all the guards that were here. That we were supposed to kill second. I killed them first. Oh, they so killed right. girlfriend, wife. What do you think? Look at this place. I'm poor Bianca. Mm. If something's happened to her. Okay, it's time for us to get uh -huh. your Bianca. Oh, my darling. Your Thank sword God is named right. Bianca. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca, Ezio. Okay. Charmed. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so, like I know weird. your name, but not why you're here. I have business with Silvio mm -hmm. Barbarino. I was told you could help. Ah, it would be my honor. But it's going to require Ooh. more than uh, just a two. I like him. I like him a lot this far. To weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go and ready my men for battle. While I do this, I'd like you to rescue those who were captured during Silvio's assault. I cannot, in good okay. conscience, leave them behind. In Daisy, I will attend to it at once. Okay, so we are going to there, rescue his men, which are going to help us then be able to go after him. It's fine by me. Maybe they'll be easier to find than he was. Because <laughs> apparently I went to his house first. Because that was the closer of the two locations. But apparently he was brought to somewhere different than his house. Okay, so we got a smoke bomb. Which is the easiest way to go about this. And then we just go like this. And that's one down. Two down. Three down. And then we just open the door. Easy peasy. We'd like to fight with you. If you'll have us. Sure. I'd love to have you. Falling. Cool. Cool. And now we need to go across town. Let's talk to this guy. Bribe him. Make it easier for us to get across town now. I don't mind bribing them. It's not super expensive, and I have more than enough money. So, here we are. They're captured here again. Oh, and there's a glyph here. <laughs> and we'll smoke bomb. And we'll go like this. That's one. That's two. And one more. I love the smoke bomb. Smoke bomb makes combat easy. And let's go open the store. Must be anonymous. Buddy. You. You. What? You with the tiny dick. Get it back here. Buddy. There we go. And assassinate this guy. Can I? Why? What's there we go. Thank you for turning around and looking at someone else. Let's let his men out of the cave. Why are you pushing your own friends? Cool. We are with you, friend. Only lead the way. Now I have eight of them? Follow my lead. Oh. 
Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Beautiful. Can I... Okay, I don't like that when they're completely distracted. I can't just assassinate them. Okay, good. I wish there was like a quick switch I could do. I could quick switch to... Oh. Okay, we gotta get these guys out of here. Good. One down. Good. I have so many men who are following me right now. This is great. This is my type of party. Okay. Buddy, what do you think you're trying to do? Yeah, there we go. And we got a big guy left. Pull I like how it's like 12 now. Thought I had eight. I feel like I just keep gaining men. Let's do Is this grinder all over again? Me gaining a bunch of men to follow me around? Hello? Okay, we're gonna claim his body for good stuff. Just money. Hate that. Normally, when the big guys are dead, you're able to get like really, really good stuff. The group that I've hired is under attack. Hold them over here. Good. Well, I suppose I didn't see you either. A little prudence might be advisable in the future. Good day, Miss Where did he go? Oh, I went right here is where I went. I went right here is where I went. That's where I went. Can I? And... Oh! 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 All dead. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy! Okay! Wow! Easy! Getting all those people. Using throwing knives is so helpful. Let me just say, like throwing knives and all of the different things that you can, you can use the smoke bombs, especially the smoke bombs. Oh my God, the smoke bombs make combat so much easier. I'm a big, big fan of the smoke bombs. Oh, didn't mean to throw a knife there, but apparently we're throwing knives now randomly. That's okay, Ezio. You you throw your knives. You you throw that knife out there. I don't know what it's gonna do for you, but you throw that knife out there, Ezio. Okay, so now we're gonna go back across the city. And as we get across the city, we are going to then go after the guy already. Okay. What does he have to say for us? Or is he not here? Oh, he's here. Okay, thank God. Welcome oh, back. I was worried he wasn't going to be well here. Well done. My host is restored to its former glory. Mm -hmm. Now Silvio will see just how great mm. a mistake he's made. How should we proceed? A direct assault against the Arsenale? No. We'd be massacred at the gates. Okay. I have something else in mind. Take my men and plant them throughout the district. The trouble they cause will force Silvio oh. to dispatch most of his guards. And with the really smart. The mercenaries, I can move in for the kill. Is that? Mm -hmm. You'll be virtually unopposed. That's what he takes the bait. Oh, don't worry. He will. I hope he takes the bait. I really hope he takes the bait. Okay, so we're gonna strategically place mercenaries all across town, and that is gonna force him to reallocate his men differently, and when he has them reallocated, it's gonna keep him distracted for thus to then have access to go inside of his home base. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep working forward. I don't think I think my group can handle themselves. 
and they will get their little booties over here. We get their little booties over here. Okay. I don't think I have. Let's do a pistol. Start one. And... What does this do? I haven't really used the... I haven't really used the poison. Because I don't really... Oh! Buddy. You, you attacked the ground? You attacked the ground there, bud? I somehow am so strong. Oh! Nice counter. Okay, now I just walk here. Sweet! And now we're gonna drop off some mercenaries. Here for my signal. As Beautiful. Let's go. Okay, so now let's walk over to the next one. I like this so far. It's... My combat has definitely improved. Let me tell you. Increasing your armor. Increasing your gear. Increasing that kind of stuff. Let me tell you. Makes things a lot easier when you have better weapons and you have better gear. It also helps when you take your time a little bit. Okay. Let's do this. Boop. That's one down. And two down. And where's the third one? Let's see if I can get this guy out of the way. Oh! You! Little boy! You little guy! You think that you can do that to me? Get out of here, buddy! Counter that! Hopefully we can get some throwing knives or some ammo back. Throwing knives, beautiful. I'm just gonna clean up this loot real quick. More throwing knives, beautiful. Ooh. Okay, so now we have less men, which means I have to do more of the combat myself, but I've been doing all the combat myself for the most part. Are they struggling to walk around the corner? They are struggling to walk around the corner. It's okay. Hold your 2009 here. game. Consider it done. Say with me. Okay. Now we have the last group. Targets to kill two. It must be two of the big brutes. So, I'm gonna try and get a long-range pistol shot on one of them. Or I can do, I think it's three. Oops. Go up. Let's find out where they are. Oh, can I just, can I please just get an assassination from above? Please? Oh! Just so clean. What? Excuse me. Where did y'all come from? Where did y'all come from? I... I would like to know where you came from. And the answer is not your mother's. Because... Y'all came out of nowhere. Y'all came absolutely... Can I counter the counter? Can... Jesus. Can I counter this, please? Can I counter? Please. Thank you. Okay, good. So now they're helping, finally. I don't have any smoke bombs, do I? No, I don't have any smoke bombs, so we're gonna have to actually... Can I use this weapon instead? I feel like having... Oh, now I'm doing the thing he did. Why was I not able to counter any of these? Can I counter? Please. God, I hate these big guys. Okay, hold on. We're going to do this. And we're going to go like this. Well, 
You're certainly well fed. Can I Let's assassinate him? Cool. Much easier. Much easier. God. They were such a mess. You will see what comes of They were such a mess to deal with. And all I had to do was just like jump up above, do a little throwing knife action, and move on from there. Those big brutes, difficult. Difficult to fight. Here, this is where you wait. Mm -hmm. Send word when it's time to strike. How do I plan to send word? I don't know how I can send word to them all the way across the city. Am I going to shoot my gun in the air? Is that how I'm going to be doing that? Oh my god, I got so much money. We did it. You here? Oh, thank god he's here. I always worry that we're going to open one of these doors and they're going to like is disappear. It yes. It is done. All your men are in place. Mm-hmm. Bene, bene. Bene, bene. I assume you know how A well. firecracker. Oh, that's how we're going to do it. Mm. Fire it from there. This signals my men to Smart. begin the attack. All right, Smart. then. Smart. I will see you on the battlefield. That so you smart. Will. Because carnival's going on, so they're not going to recognize that that's, like, a thing. They're just going to recognize it as, like, oh, it's a loud, it's a loud noise that is occurring. Oh, I gotta walk around this building. I'm not gonna break my neck. I'm good. Buddy, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for looking out for me, though. That's kind of you. So I've really liked this mission thus far. I, I like us, like, avenging this guy and getting his men back. Which I love. I love the idea of, of that. Of him being like, yeah, my men were captured by this awful guy who I want dead. And you want to help me kill this awful guy who was dead? Who's, like, been awful to me? Sure, I'll help you out. It's like, loving all these, like, allies that we're getting. Okay, I think, oh, this is the correct side to jump from. Sweet. So I got view. I got all the viewpoints the other day, um, because I just was talking on the phone and needed something to do. So I just ran around and got all the viewpoints. It made life a lot easier. See fireworks. No distraction. No guards. No. No inkling of it being incorrect. Okay, so this is perfect timing. Time for us to go and infiltrate the castle. Or we're gonna do Bartolo combat. Needs my help. Yeah, he does look like he needs our help. Right into the water. Okay. I'm gonna be really sneaky here. I'm gonna go like this. And do this. Can I? Oh! Must return to mm, I was so close to killing him. I was so close to killing him. Can I? Can I? Can I? Buddy. Oh my. Okay. Sometimes you can't escape. Accept your fate. Get out of here. Can I counter, please? Can I? Okay, apparently I cannot counter anyone. Apparently, countering things for some reason is still. There we go. Wrong button, that's why. Counter. Counter. Counter, please. Counter. Why are you struggling? You won't run away, dear God. 
There we go. Okay, apparently I just had to turn around to kill him. Good. And now this guy over here. Okay. God, I don't know why those big brutes are so difficult today. They're... I, I thought I had the ability to... Just, like, kill them? I was doing... I thought I was doing everything correct. But it doesn't look like... Oh, my God! Buddy! 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 You think... You think they're gonna be able to fight me? Okay. This... My big-ass hands... Need to... Need to... Take this... Over here... Can I not counter a single thing? Okay, smoke bomb it is. Smoke bomb it is. That doesn't do anything to you? Can I not counter anything? Okay. Does not look like we're countering a single attack today for some reason. Ezio. Buddy. Buddy. God, I hate him. Buddy, I think how we got him locked into a wall here because messy. We're out of time. Return to me. We must depart. Messy. Go That brute will no doubt lead you straight to his master. That wasn't even who we were supposed to go after. That was just one of his brutes. Hurry. They're going to be without us. Okay. But now we have to chase him down and get him before. Okay, this should be easy enough. We're gonna kill both of them? Okay, I'm. Okay, apparently that's one down. I'm just running past these these guards who think they're going to be able to distract me enough. No, buddy. No. Y'all are not distracting me at all. Whoop. Won't get past. <laughs> You're funny, won't get past. You're funny, won't get past. You're funny, won't get past. You're funny. I think I won't get past you. I still did a little bunny hop. Why the boats? <laughs> I thought you saw the doji seat. Mm -hmm. Just a distraction. We were meant to sail. Sail where? Sail where? I'll never tell. But he will. Cyprus is their mm. destination. They want. They want. Non temete l'oscurità. They want what? Cyprus. So we're going to be going to Cyprus now? This is a brand new region, I'm assuming, that we haven't been to yet. Well done, Ezio. Thank you. Silvio is defeated. So now we're going to a brand new... And the military district has returned to us. Hmm. Perhaps now Venezia might finally enjoy a bit of pace tranquillita. We should celebrate this victory! With what, a feast? I'm glad for you and your men, Bartolomeo. But mm. I cannot join. I fear my work has just taken a rather... I agree, turn. Ezio. What do you mean? Silvio I'm going to Cyprus. To replace Marco as Doge. Mm -hmm. He was about to leave Venezia, in fact. Mm -hmm. This whole thing was just a distraction. Why? That is that. what I need to find out. Mm -hmm. So is sequence 10 completed, are we off to Cyprus to continue chasing all of them down? That last combat sequence, I was real sneaky there with that little bunny hop over the edge to get the final guy. I thought that was pretty cute of me to do that. Otherwise, I thought this went really well. Combat with the big brutes was a little difficult, but for the most part, things have been getting a lot better and a lot easier since I upgraded my armor and upgraded my weapons. So thanks to all of you in the comment section who were like, Sean, don't forget, Sean, don't forget, Sean, don't forget, because 
it wasn't for all of you, I probably would be struggling even more than I was a little bit during this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like on it to let YouTube know that as well. And I'd love a comment in the comment section below of your favorite part. Do you live in a city? I'd love to hear more about your queer experience or talking all about that privilege of living in somewhere that is more expensive to have access to more things because not all of us have that opportunity. So I'd love to hear how you folks make the most out of your life living in wherever you live in the world. If you wanna join us to defeating all of the Assassin's Creed games up until Assassin's Creed Mirage comes out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you know when all of our videos go live at a earlier time 8 a.m eastern standard time monday wednesday and friday as our youtube members requested our videos go live two hours earlier so i'll see you folks all soon and i'll see you in the next one 8 a.m sharp